grace your tiny village with our presence so that you might behold the real princess of the night. A creature of nightmares no longer, but instead a pony who desires your love and admiration. Together we shall change this dreadful celebration into a bright and glorious feast. Did you hear that, everybody? Nightmare Moon says she's gonna feast on us all. What? No, children, no! You no longer have reason to fear us. Screams of delight is what your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived! <laughs> What is the matter with you? Very well, then. Be that way. We won't even bother with the traditional royal farewell. I'm gonna go talk to her. Ugh, you can't talk to her. She's Nightmare Moon. No, she's not. I saw the elements of harmony change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! That was a good thing, right? But of course, we could not be happier. Is that not clear? Well, you kind of sound like you're yelling at me. But this is the traditional royal Canterlot voice. It is tradition to speak using the royal we, and to use this much volume when addressing our subjects. You know, that might explain why your appearance was met with mixed results. I think if you just changed your approach a bit, you might be met with a warmer reception. Change our approach? Lower the volume. Oh. We have been locked away for a thousand years. We are not sure we can. Don't worry, Princess. Fluttershy can give you some great pointers. She's delicate and demure with the sweetest little voice. Go away! You can't hear! This year's not welcome on Nightmare Night! Uh, <laughs> Fluttershy, it's me, Twilight! It is you. Oh, and Nightmare Moon. Uh, Nightmare Moon? <laughs> Wait right here. Fluttershy? Uh, you remember Princess Luna? Charmed! <laughs> Likewise. Twilight Sparkle has spoken of the sweetness of thy voice. We ask thou teachest us to speak as thou speakest. Okay. Shall our lessons begin? Okay. Shall we mimic thy voice? Okay. How is this? Perfect. Lesson over. A little quieter, Princess. How is this? Better, right, Fluttershy? <laughs> yes. How? About now. Now you're getting it. And how about now? Yes, well done. I oh, thank thee, dear Fluttershy. Our normal speaking voice shall surely win us the hearts of thy fellow villagers. Fluttershy, you've got to hide us. Nightmare Moon is here and... Uh, 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 she stole Fluttershy's voice so she can't scream when she gobbles her up. Yeah! Nay, children, wait. I mean, nay, children, no, wait. Come on, princess, time for plan B. Huzzah! How many points do I receive? <coughs> do not run away. As your princess, we command you. Watch the screen! 
Twilight Sparkle. We must use the traditional Royal Canterlot voice for what we are about to say. Since you choose to fear your princess rather than love her, and dishonor her with this insulting celebration, we decree that Nightmare Night shall be cancelled forever! We had everything going our way. Luna was happy. Every pony in town was happy. Now look at them. <laughs> but I wanted to be a zombie next year. <laughs> it's not over yet. What are you going to do? I'm going to do what I do best. Lecture her! Princess? Leave me be, Twilight Sparkle. Princess, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out how we wanted. But you have to believe me when I tell you that Nightmare Night is one of the most popular celebrations we have. Yes, I can tell by all the adoring shrieks of the children as they run away. Princess. <laughs> No, no shrieking, no squealing or screaming either, okay? There's something I want you to see, and I promise that it's safe, but you really, really, really can't shriek. Do you promise not to shriek? Mm-hmm. Pinkie Pie, you remember Princess Luna, right? Ah, oh, the ringleader of the frightened children. Hast thou come to make peace? my enthusiasm. Come with me. I'll explain everything on the way. Gosh, I never thought my very first Nightmare Night would be my very last. Come, little Pip. Now don't you fret. Nightmare Night's not over yet. We still have candy left to give, so Nightmare Moon might let us live. Yes. Come on, little ponies. What's Nightmare Night without the annual candy offering? You don't want Nightmare Moon to gobble you up, do you? Ah, oh, the rainbow wig just kills it for me. Come on, kids. Doesn't that sound like fun? Goodbye, Nightmare Night. Forever. Citizens of Ponyville, you were wise to bring this candy to me. I am pleased with your offering, so pleased that I may just eat it instead of eating you! I am not certain that did what you meant for it to do, Twilight Sparkle. Just wait. For what? For for them to scream some more? Oh, uh, Princess Luna, I know there's not going to be any more Nightmare Night, but do you suppose maybe you could come back next year and scare us again anyway? Child, art thou saying that thou likest me to scare you? 
It's really fun. Scary, but fun. It's tis? Yeah, Nightmare Night is my favorite night of the year. Well then, we shall have to bring Nightmare Night back. Whoa! You're my favorite princess ever. She said yes, guys. Yay! See, they really do like you, princess. Can it be true? Oh, most wonderful of... I mean... Oh, most wonderful of nights. Dear Princess Celestia, When you first sent me to Ponyville, I didn't know anything about friendship. I met some pony tonight who was having the same problem. Your sister, Princess Luna. She taught me that one of the best things you can do with friendship is to give it to others and help them find it themselves. And I'm happy to report that all of Ponyville has learned that even if some pony seems a little intimidating, even scary, when you offer them your friendship, you'll discover a whole new pony underneath. And even if my star swirl, the bearded costume, didn't go over, this still turned out to be the best nightmare night ever. <laughs> Where am I? Not another step. Princess Luna! I don't understand. Where are we? Why did you and Celestia disappear? Did you really expect me to sit idly by while they all basked in your precious light? Precious light? There can only be one princess in Equestria! And that princess will be me! Sister, I am sorry, but you have given me no choice but to use these. Are those the elements of harmony? But that's how they looked in the past. This is the night you banished her.
I'm more than willing to do my part and give up my magic. You misunderstand. Our magic cannot just disappear into thin air. Some pony must keep it safe. That some pony is you, Twilight. Why me? We do not believe that Tyrek is aware that a fourth Alicorn princess exists in Equestria. If we transfer our magic to you, Tyrek will not know where it has gone. Do you understand what we're asking of you? Yes. It's just... I'm only now learning how to control my own Alicorn magic, to take on even more... Twilight, you represent the element of magic. If there is any pony who can do this, it's you. Taking on this task will be one of the most difficult things I will ever do. But with the help of my friends... I'm sorry, Princess Twilight, but you must keep your new abilities a secret. I fear that your friends being aware of your new power could put them at great risk. Do you still think you can take on this responsibility? This is the role I meant to play as a Princess of Equestria. I will not fail to do my duty. Then we must begin at once. to travel through time. The princess asked you a question. And unless you want to end up in the dungeon, you'll tell her what she wants to know. No pony in my kingdom but me should possess a magic powerful enough to change time. Your kingdom? Who else? Um, Celestia, of course. <laughs> has been imprisoned in the moon for years. But it is no less a fate than she sentenced me to. Now, reveal to me the source of this time magic. All right. Twilight, no! We have no choice, Spike. I can take you to it, but you'll have to get past the Timberwolves. I am the ruler of all of Equestria. Do you think I can't deal with Timberwolves? No. I know you can. And if you were thinking of trying to escape... It would be very unfortunate for your friend. How does it work? A pony from my time used a spell to travel back and change the past. And now you will give this spell to me. With it, I will ensure that the elements of harmony are never found and my reign lasts forever. But it won't. What? In my world, my friends and I found the elements and used them to defeat you. And I will do everything in my power to bring that world back. No! We can't think of any pony more worthy. Over the years, we've watched you grow. You face task after task, challenge after challenge. Countless adversities, yeah, 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 we get it. And you've always prevailed. Thank you, but that doesn't mean that I'm, that we're ready to do what you do. Oh, of course you are. I realize this is a lot to take in, but- Nope, makes perfect sense. We're awesome. <gasps> Does this mean we get all your powers? Ooh, ooh. I call dims on showing up in every pony's dreams. You can't be ready to step into their horseshoes just like that. Well, if the princesses think it's time to retire, we're not a bad choice. We always have a quest you best interest at heart. That's a fair point, which should be taken into consideration when we have a roundtable discussion. Well, I'm in. Tumblings will all need a complete wardrobe update. And I would love to pick your brain about main maintenance. When you have a moment. 
As long as we all have each other, I'm sure we can do it. Yay! Protectors of Equestria on three! One, two... <sighs> if you're all on board, I guess I am too. Protectors of Equestria! It'll be a bit of an adjustment, but I imagine the transfer of power will be a lengthy process, which will get... Actually, we just need a few days to put together a little ceremony. <laughs> a few days? Uh. But that's so soon! Shouldn't there be some sort of training program that lasts weeks, no, months, if not years? Everything you've gone through over the years has been a training program. Okay, but there's got to be a guide or a rule book. Yes, I have it right here. How to Rule Equestria by No Pony Make Pretend Smith. The friendship journal you wrote yourselves is a better guide than any we could provide. We have the utmost confidence in you, and we hope you'll have the same in yourself. Oh, I'm absolutely certain she does. Stay back, friends. My sister and I will take care of the beast. All the times we've actually needed their help, and they show up for this? That's just what I was about to do. Oh, goodness, sister. That was fun. No need to thank us. To be honest, we've recently realized we like being part of the action. Experiencing life instead of just dreaming about it and making a difference outside the throne room. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Y'all think they're gonna be doing this a lot? Some ponies say, lost. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> This is just terrible. Miss Cheerily ordered cupcakes for school today, and I forgot to make the order. Yeah, no biggie. Students going hungry? Not on our watch. Let us bake, sister. <gasps> and then they carried Granny Smith across the street. There wasn't even any traffic. It's not that we don't appreciate their help. But suddenly, Celestia and Luna seem to think we can't do anything on our own. How are we supposed to learn to be rulers of Equestria with them fixing every teensy problem for us? Maybe the princesses changed their minds. Maybe they don't think we're up to the responsibility of protecting Equestria after all. Or maybe this week's just a one-time thing. It'll never happen again. Ah, a strategy meeting. What is the danger this time? A rampaging beast? Evil spell? Friendship problem? We're ready to do whatever we can. Great. But is something wrong? It's just, you've been helping us an awful lot. And we know you have way more important rulery things to do, so... We've spent more than enough time in the throne room. Real life is happening out here. Wait, that's what this is about? You're sick of being princesses? Not exactly. Battling the Everfree Forest alongside Star Swirl made us realize what we've missed out on. So instead of spending the day ruling and the night patrolling dreams, we wanted a chance to do the things you do. Save the day, adventure with friends, shampoo anteaters. I'm pretty sure Fluttershy is the only pony that does that. Well, there are way more fun things to do than follow us around. Ooh, you should make a list of all the stuff you never tried but always wanted to. There's a lot of little things out there to do. What an intriguing idea. Only it's much harder to justify a vacation from the castle when it's not an emergency we're responding to. Don't worry. We'll cover your palace duties. It'll be a good chance for us to practice for when you retire. Well, if you're sure you don't mind the extra effort. Shh! Thank you, Twilight! What a relief to know the royal swanifying ceremony is in good hooves. <laughs> the what now? Fun not yet had. Oh, I can't wait to start planning our time off. A chance to do whatever we want. And you know what that means. Relaxation! Uh, well, it's just that I... I spend each night in every pony's intense dreams so I could use some real-world downtime. 
I understand. But for me, every day is real world. Meetings and decrees and meetings about decrees and decrees about the meetings. I crave excitement! Uh, I'm not sure how we can both be happy. Unless... We take turns doing what we like. Sister trip! And I have the perfect accessories for us to wear. Wait right here. Oh! <laughs> we'll be twinsies. <laughs> Just like regular pony tourists. I knew you'd love it. I have a few things for us, too. Sunglasses, bug spray, ice boots, bus sanitizer, and travel snacks. <gasps> you have to add water. What do you think? It's perfect, sister. And here are instructions of how to prepare for the royal swanifying. If it's written down, I'm sure we can handle it. Have fun. One more thing. We're leaving you in charge of raising the sun and moon while we're gone. <gasps> we have put a small part of our power in this amulet. You can activate it with your magic at any time. Preferably dawn and dusk. Ooh! That's not a terrifying level of responsibility or anything. We won't let you down, princesses. Tell me that scroll says what the royal swanifying is? Apparently, it's a celebration of all the swans in the royal lake. We round them up, parade them through the streets, and finish with a party in the castle. <laughs> One question. Why? It doesn't matter. This is our chance to show Celeste and Luna we'll do whatever the job requires. If they can take care of all this themselves, then I know we can, together. Ah, um, jolly good. You are definitely not reading the scroll I am. Well, I hope you're enjoying yourself on your super relaxing picnic, sister. I would be if you hadn't made us hike through a million prickle bushes. Uh, well, they hurt less than that horrible howling you dragged us to. That was Ponyachi, and it's an opera. And you made us leave early, even though it was still my turn. Oh, just face it, Luna. You are never happy. Because you don't want me to be happy. I always have to do things your way. I bet you wish I'd never come back so you could still rule day and night. Oh, you think I like that kind of pressure? Being responsible for every little thing in Equestria and you? What I'd like is a sister I can depend on. You mean boss around? Calm down, Luna. No! And don't you dare use your canterlot voice on me! I think this adventure would be better if I did it by myself! Fine! I just remembered something I forgot I always wanted to do. Be alone! Guess we have the same thing on both of our lists, then. <sighs> Things are so much more relaxing without my bossy sister. A gloomy sister moping around all the time, anyway. Ah! Honestly, princess, didn't you wear any sunblock? That's a thing. <sighs> Celestia would have warned me if she were here. Now, was it two left turns and a right, or two right turns and a left? <laughs> Luna always handled directions. And scared away the chickens. Oh, I thought climbing Mount Filimanjaro was on my list. I'm not copying you. I just wanted to watch the sunrise. I'm uh, here for the moonset. So, uh, how did the rest of your day go? Oh, amazing. Yeah, uh, fan fantastic. Best ever, really. Yeah, me too. Mm. You, you can walk with me. You know, if, if you want, I mean. Oh, 
Well, since we're going the same way. <laughs> This is so beautiful. It must be amazing in the sunlight. The night's pretty special, too. Lucky Star! You taught me to look for those when I was a filly. <laughs> Hope I wasn't too bossy doing it. <laughs> you know, being with your sister all the time is hard, but being without her? It's even harder. I do know. And I wouldn't trade you for any of the adventures on my list. Not even your zipline? Not even my zipline. I'm sorry I said those things before. Sometimes it's just tough being the little sister. It's not always easy being the big sister either. I'm sorry too. The sun and the moon together? At the same time? Now where have I seen that before? <laughs> <laughs> you think maybe Twilight's having trouble with the amulet? We should probably go help her. There isn't a punishment worthy of all you've done. No, well, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, that does seem fitting. May I help, please? Together forever. I can't think of anything that they would want less. When I sent you to Podyville, I had high hopes. When you became Princess of Friendship, I knew I made the right choice. But nothing could prepare me for how proud I am right now. Equestria is definitely in the right hooves. You are ready. You know what? I think I am. Thank goodness. First question, Your Highness. What do we do with all these creatures? We're gonna need a lot more chairs for the coronation. Goodness, Twilight, are you all right? My friends and I had a few hiccups on the way, but everything's fine now. We really are both just so proud of you. If you need a moment, that's all right. It is your coronation. Although it would be nice to get started, are you ready? She can't possibly be crowned without her coronation gown. Very well. Citizens of Equestria and beyond. <laughs> My sister and I have ruled this land for quite some time, but even we know that change eventually comes to us all. And though we know it can be unsettling, it's as natural as the rising and setting of the sun and the moon both of which my sister and I feel confident, leaving in the holes of the pony. Uh, you look amazing. Oh, I almost forgot. And so, without further ado, I give you the new ruler of Equestria, Princess Twilight Sparkle. <gasps> Sorry. Twilight. Oh dear. I know these aren't the snacks I promised, but it's all I could find. Well, dash or no dash, Twilight's about to get that crown. Wonderful, roll out! No, wait! Twilight! Oh. 